Hello all, this is Saket and uh, here in this video tutorial we will discuss uh, CG file. Uh, <coughs> now I think let's see uh, the default uh, rendering window without uh, the declaration of my specific material with uh, further my specific CG file. Uh, here we have a sphere with some ambient light and specifically the green color spotlight now let's come to the application and uh, here in this header file we have constructor destructor create scene the virtual function and set camera create sphere and set spotlight that we have already discussed all uh, these all and in cpp file we have constructor destructor set spotlight and then set camera with create sphere and <coughs> the <coughs> create sphere that's it and uh, here now we need this actually what we are going to do is creating sub entities of this uh, sphere mesh and uh, setting my specific material file with this with these sub uh, entities of the sphere mesh and <coughs> this is our create scene and then entry point for the application okay fine let's see come to our material file then uh, the entry point for these material file as vertex program and fragment program is respectively this one for vertex program and this one for pro uh, fragment program the <coughs> same cg file is this for fragment and same for cg uh, same for vertex program now <coughs> let's see our resource file and that i am declared it here as the folder as the subfolder within my script and program of ogre like this one and this one now <coughs> let's see how it looks like So here it will uh, appear as blue color and uh, more and complete blue as a sphere. Now let's move to our CG program. Here in uh, vertex program, what I am doing, uh, what I am doing is uh, just uh, my entry point is this and the float type a uh, float for type uh, return a uh, value and <clears throat> this in and out is basically the parameter types as input and output parameter and uh, here we need to declare this statement define this statement because uh, our in position is basically our for vertex positions of our mesh and that is multiplied with uh, world view projection matrix and the resultant is getting stored as in the output type variable pos of float4 type and in uh, an structure instance uh, i had de declared an structure uh, above the function and here in color we are defining this as blue color and position as pos and returning this color back to the function calling function now in fragment program what i had done is just creating the instance of a structure <coughs> passing the color coming from vertex program and returning back to the calling function so as the resultant we are getting a complete blue colored sphere 
that's it for now.